obviously clothing has been an influential part in the Splatoon franchise. I mean, it's obvious Nintendo wants you to look your best while you're out in the splat field, and I actually think that the clothes that you wear in Splatoon kind of represent your personality in the game. It represents what kind of character you may be in real life. Of course, that's me hypothetically speaking, as this really has nothing to do with your personality in real life, but that's just my spin on it. But Nintendo has given us so many clothing combinations, it's practically incomparable. So real quickly, I'm just going to brush through all the different clothing combinations I've come up with with buying all the shirts, shoes, and uh, headgear through all the d miscellaneous shops. And also, splat guns and weapons will be a part of the clothing combinations that I come up with. Feel free to use any of these combinations in Splatoon 2, believe me, I'm not going to put a copyright on my clothing combinations. When I start uploading future Splatoon videos, I will be using these combinations as much as possible. So without further ado, let me introduce the fresh styles Splatoon has offered us. So real quickly, I'm gonna go over my personal com uh, my personal main. This is what my character will usually wear out in the battlefield. So combining the pilot goggles, the hula punk shirt, the red and black squid kid boars, and the dapple doolies create my personal main clothing combination for Splatoon 2. It's a casual approach to my character, but also adds a little uh, irony and humor to it. Moving on. Combine the Retro Specs, the White Inky Rider, the Blue and Black Squid Kid 4, and the Aerospray RG, and you have come up with one of my personal favorites, the Cool Nerd. The Retro Specs definitely add the nerdy quality to the character, and the White Inky Rider definitely tells you that this is a guy who would probably be riding a motorcycle or some Ford Mustang. My next combination is combining the 18K Aviators, the Crimson Parachuter, the Piranha Moccasins, and the Aerospray MG to create C the CSI Splatoon Squid. My next clothing combination is actually very simple, it's the Squinja outfit that you get with one of the Splatoon 2 Amiibo. With this combination, I paired the Octobrush with this outfit. You know, the Octobrush has an ancient look to it, and the Squinja outfit also has an ancient look to it, so I thought the two fit perfectly. Now, high school students like me will definitely recognize this outfit. Combine the Squid Fin hook cans, the Varsity jacket, the Red and Black Squid Kid 4, and the NZAP 85, and you have what I like to call the Jock Squid. Yeah, that's right, this is the athletic guy, this is the guy who gets all the girls, is popular at all the parties, the guy that everybody wants to hang out with, and he has one of the coolest weapons out there in Splatoon history, the NZAP 85. I found this was a perfect match. Next, if you combine the Special Forces Beret, the FA-01 Jacket, the Punk Boots, and the NZAP-85, you have the Special Force Squid. This is an inkling that you would definitely see fighting the good fight against the Octarians. If you have the Paintball Mask, the Anakai Evolution Tee, the Pro Trail Boots, and the N. Perry Splat Dooleys, you can create the Evolutionary Squid. Now, why is it called Evolutionary Squid? Well, that's actually pretty obvious. The it comes from the Anakai Evolution T. If you have the Pilot Goggles, the Birded Corduroy Jacket, and the Red and Black Squid Kid 4s, plus the Aerospray MG, you can create the Aviation Squid. Now, the only time you'll see squids flying is when they do their squid jump, so I felt like, uh, you know, play on words, you know, birds, aviation, it, it definitely fit. This next combination is a tropical laid-back kind of look. Combine the patched hat, the pink easy striped shirt, the black flip-flops, and the splat dualies, and you have what I like to call the cabana squid. Next on our list, if you combine the Jelly Vader cap, the black v-neck tee, the black trainers, and the dually squelchers, you will have the street squid. Now this, this, now this combination came to me very randomly. If you combine the MTB helmet, the Takaroka Wind Crusher, the Crazy Arrows, and the Dapple Dooleys, you will have Crazy Squid, or Random Squid. This inkling just looks crazy because there's so many different colors going on, it's, it's hard to keep up. Alright, we're getting down to the last two outfits. So, if you have the studio headphones, the match -a down jacket, the gray sea slug high tops, and the splash o -matic, you can create the lime green squid. The studio headphones are a kind of gray bland color, so you're probably wondering why I would choose to include this in a lime green theme. Well, that's because gray is a complementary color to lime green. And last but not least, we have another one of my favorites. If you combine the retro specs, the shirt with blue hoodie, the black dacronix, and the dapple dooleys, you will have what I like to call the casual squid. Obviously, this guy this guy chooses his battles casually, and obviously, he has to look casually. If I were in Splatoon 2, I would wear the exact same outfit. So those are just some of the outfits that I made. Believe me, guys, more are in the works. 
I'm going to be constantly buying merch from, you guessed it, merch, and also going to the stores to see if there are any other clothing items that I don't currently possess. So when I create a lot more of these outfits, perhaps I'll make another video, but for now I'm just going to stick with these core outfits laid before you. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to Verse the Edits because more videos are coming. Until next time, this is Dom and stay fresh.